hey, yeah, I just saw the email. I told you I was done filming deodorant reviews. I'm done doing these. What's the deal with this one? 72-hour odor protection? Nobody's going to believe it. There's got to be something more. $15 for a stick? I know I've been out of the deodorant reviewing game for a few years. You probably thought I was gone. Maybe gone forever. But we got a $15 stick to talk about today, everyone. And so I'm back from retirement on deodorant reviewing. Today we're talking about Mando's Pro Sport 72 hour, 72 hour odor control whole body deodorant. Since when are all the deodorants whole body? This one is, and we're going to talk about it today. I'm going to talk a little bit about the company, the outrageous price, and whether or not I feel like it works well. So Mando is brought to us by a brand called Lumi, the parent brand, if you will. And Lumi was started in 2017 by a gynecologist, and it was started as a feminine whole body deodorant. If you could put two and two together there, gynecology and feminine whole body. And it's an odor controlling agent that's designed through an alpha hydroxy acid, which I ended up looking into it. When I saw acid, that sounded scary to me, especially because on the back of the stick, it says something about a sunburn warning. But apparently alpha hydroxy acids are pretty common actually in different anti-aging products, skincare products, skin chemical peels, things along those lines. So nothing too crazy there, but uh, that alpha hydroxy acid is what helps to neutralize odor causing bacteria that's then being utilized and carry over through all their different deodorant types. Lumi started off, I guess, as their feminine line. And then Mando was created as a sister company, brother company, because it's for boys. I don't know. And they have their own line of this full body deodorant. And it particularly advertises itself for pits, packages, and feet. Now, I'm not putting this stick of deodorant on my junk or on my feet. I'm just using it on my armpits. It feels ridiculous to say that you can put it on your packages. Like, who's going to put this same stick of deodorant all over their body and then on their armpits? Maybe you are, but I'm not going to. And so, we have this 72-hour stick of deodorant, and they're charging $15 for it. Now, don't get me wrong. I have been a native buyer for years and native clocks in at just about $13. That is damn expensive for a stick of deodorant when you could go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a stick for $1.25. Your average stick of deodorant, if you go to Walmart or Target, is probably going to run you anywhere from $4 to $8. But it seems like if you're buying these premium aluminum-free deodorants, they are running in at a much higher cost um, given the fact that they're uh, natural ingredients and all of that kind of stuff. And so it kind of makes you wonder what you're getting when you pay $15 for a stick of deodorant, which leads us right into the efficacy of this product. Now, I'm not going to lie. I bought it because I was curious and I wanted, I almost wanted to not like the product because I was like, there's no way that this $15 stick of deodorant is going to work well. Now, I'm not going to lie. This deodorant, in my experience so far, does not last 72 hours, but it does last really well through a day. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, I work an office job. I sit in an office for eight hours a day. I'm not doing anything terribly rigorous, so I'm not sweating all that much. Probably just as much sweating as anybody else who's just sitting at a desk all day. So if you're doing some kind of manual labor, working outside, then this might not be quite as strong or as powerful for you. But for me, working an office job, this lasts all day. Like I can smell this on myself all day long, which is pretty crazy and pretty impressive because I feel like the native deodorant that I use does not last quite as well. Uh, I've gotten to the end of the day and I'll have my wife like kind of sniff test me. I know that sounds kind of gross, but you got to find out like, do I smell right now? And she's like, no, honestly, you don't like it's pretty impressive. I've only worn the deodorant to the gym one time. I'm not going to lie. haven't had a lot of opportunity to go lately just because of some stuff I've had going on. But my one trial run at the gym 
it did not work super well. And like I said, it's the only time I've worn it there. With that, I had worn it all day long. I did do a reapply before I went to the gym, but I noticed pretty much immediately that it was not standing up to like more intense sweating or more intense exercise. Maybe it would if I gave it another try, but it didn't work super well in that instance. And so I've been using this now for the better part of the last two weeks, and I am pretty impressed, which kind of brings us to the last portion here of like, is this stick of deodorant worth it? And in my opinion, if you are paying $8 for a stick of deodorant, Deodorant, and your stick of deodorant is working well, I would say jumping up to a $15 stick of deodorant doesn't quite probably make sense. Like if what you're getting for $8 is working well enough for you, I think it makes sense to keep paying four to eight dollars. Maybe you're using Mitchum roll on deodorant like my Oma always said for my Opa. Apparently it works incredible. They still sell the stuff. So maybe that's what you're using. But if you are a native buyer and you're spending $13 on a stick, spending $2 more on a stick doesn't seem that unrealistic. And to be honest, it's something that I could realistically see myself switching over to just because of the premium I'm already paying on deodorant. And on Honestly, how much better I found for me that this works. So honestly, at its price point, if you're paying, I would say $12 or more for a stick of deodorant already, taking the step up to 15 bucks, I know it sounds crazy, is honestly kind of worth it. Just because at that point, you might as well pay a little bit more for something that in my experience so far feels significantly better. So that's my thoughts on Mando's 72 hour deodorant that doesn't really actually last 72 hours, but my thoughts on its effectiveness so far. Uh, leave your comments and thoughts down below. Let me know down below. Are you using your stick of deodorant on your whole body? It seems weird, but maybe everybody else is doing it and I'm the weird one for not doing it. Subscribe if you want to know more of my loony thoughts on deodorants. And until next time, this is Alex Angle. Have a great one.